we have been chanting Jai Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari I think you're going to have to speak like that. <laughs> uh, maybe we could reorganize that the, those who need Telugu translation can come forward and those who understand English can go to the back. Let's have a little reshuffle. Particularly <laughs> remember Radha Madhava in Vrindavan. And we remember all the residents of Vrindavan, the Rajavasis. Because Krishna is mentioned herein as Rajajana Ranjana, who gives pleasure to the residents of Vrindavan. And especially we remember the gopis because he is Gopi Janavalaba. And among the gopis is mentioned Yashoda Devi because Krishna is Yashoda Nanda. And we also remember Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur, who penned this song as one of the many kirtans he composed. These kirtans of Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur are not like some mundane poetic expression. But they are the ecstatic expressions of his heart which is pure with love of Krishna. Bhaktivinoda Thakur always resides in Vrindavan. Although he appeared to be a resident of Calcutta, he was always residing in Vrindavan by his bhav, by his uh, feelings of transcendental ecstasy in service of Krishna. Jaitanya grihe bhajana dekhi grihe te goloka bhai. He described that in another kirtan he described how in his home by worshipping Krishna he sees that his home which was superficially in Calcutta is transformed into Vrindavan. And by chanting this we also remember Srila Prabhupada. Who would chant this kirtan daily before his classes? Although he, there were many other songs he could have sung, but he chose to sing this one. This one is very really dear to Srila Prabhupada. So by the mercy of Srila Prabhupada and all the Acharyas and Rajaraj Sri Krishna, we are gathered here today. Chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. The opportunity to do this is simply by the mercy of the Acharyas. As Bhakti Thakur has sung, Krishna se tom. Krishna se tomar, Krishna dite paro, tomara shakati ache. He 
praise to his to the Vaishnavas, to the pure devotees, that Krishna is yours, you have the power to give Krishna. Many people are coming to visit the temple of Lakshmi Narasimha Swami, which is close to here, at Yadgiri Guta. I first visited there about 18 years ago and I've been there many times since. And uh, at that time, not nearly so many people were coming as now. So it's good that more and more people are coming for darshan of the Lord. But their bhakti will really begin when they understand that it's not only the Lord who is to be, not only Bhagavan Narayana who is to be worshipped, but uh, also his devotees, through his devotees we can attain the mercy of Narayana. So, people of the world should know who is Srila Prabhupada, who is Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sar Tarko, who is Srila Gauti Shodas Prabhuji Maharaj, who is Bhakti Vinod Tarko, who are these great personalities who have given us Krishna. Srila Prabhupada went all over the world and got people to chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So it's, it's not such an, uh, people don't realize what a tremendous contribution Srila Prabhupada has made. By giving us the Maha Mantra and Srimad Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita and the life of Bhakti Yoga, he has given us Krishna. I see in this area, that it's quite popular to have statues of politicians. <laughs> Mahatma Gandhi and then Indira Gandhi, and this Gandhi, that Gandhi, another Gandhi. So many Gandhis. But these are. Uh, you can say great people from the worldly point of view, but they have no spiritual standing whatsoever. The real devotee, the really great persons are those who have given us the spirit, the, the contribution of Krishna consciousness. This chanting of Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, is the greatest contribution to human society. Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So when we were performing this Hare Kirtan in the village, we saw one ambulance coming in the village. So people think they are making a great contribution 
by uh, arranging for ambulances in the village. But the real great contribution is the contribution of chanting the holy name. The, the, the villages have been going on for thousands of years without ambulances. The ambulance is not a necessity. People live and people die and you can't stop people dying. But, but we can stop people getting reborn if they take to the chanting of the holy names of Krishna. So this, uh, this chanting of Hare Krishna is the actual contribution, the, the, the unparalleled contribution to human society. <laughs> Atu. Unparalleled is Atu. Atu. There's nothing in there's nothing in comparison. Incomparable. Chanting Hare Krishna puts us uh, directly in contact with the Supreme Personality of Godhead who is non different from His name. While chanting the Maha Mantra, there are only three words. These are Hare Krishna and Rama. This means calling out to Hara, which means Radha, and Krishna and Rama. Radha is the internal energy of Krishna. And Rama, who is Rama, that is well known. Rama means the son of Maharaj Dasharat, who is known uh, among the Dashavataram as the seventh, is it? Seventh avatar of God Vishnu. Rama also refers to Balaram and can also refer to Parashura who is the sixth in the Rama also means Krishna because Rama means the uh, all pleasure. Ramante yogino nante satyananda chidatani iti Rama pade naso param brahma vidhiyate. The yogis, they take unlimited pleasure in the supreme truth, the supreme reality, who is known as Rama. So the esoteric meaning of Rama Okay. Huh? 
Someone dies, they say Ram Nam Satya Hai. But before you, let it just say that before you die. The esoteric meaning, or the most esoteric meaning of Radha, uh, of Rama, is and Radha Ramana, he who gives pleasure. That's also not telling, is it? 
राज शाखा So if calling out to Krishna properly means that we are calling out that I am your servant please engage me in your service That's why we cannot properly chant hari krishna unless we hear from devotees ah yes good point shuddha bhakta from pure devotees shuddha bhakti dwara um if we associate with mayavadis or persons who think that bhagavan and the jiva are the same we may also chant hari krishna with them they also sometimes chant the names of bhagavan so man mayavadi devadi ye vedanta uttaru aadhura jati ye vedanta chant hari krishna they are not calling out o radha o krishna engage me in your service they are chanting out o radha o krishna tatvamasi i am you you are me wali student so they are not really then although they are pronouncing the sound that is not the actual chanting of hari krishna that is approved by vaishnava acharya valu gada manam chestha sabdame chestha hari rama idi sariyaina japamu gaadu idi vaishnava acharya chestha idi kevalam hari gaadu chestha chestha nam ante kani idi japamu gaadu idi vaishnava acharya chestha chappade jarigindi that is that is not pleasing to krishna that is not that is not calling out with our proper position <laughs> just like if one calls out to the king oh king how can i can serve you the king will be pleased but if you call out oh king how can i kick you in the head then the king won't be pleased and he'll kick you in the head there are some uh, you know just but there's some uh, bogus uh, t- totally bogus person in rayal sima uh, who people worship him as bhagavan he's very popular and they they also chant the names of krishna but they think that this baba is krishna so that's not pleasing to krishna that's offensive to krishna so actual chanting can be performed when we associate with pure devotees and hear from them and understand that we are meant only for service to krishna that is why chaitanya mahaprabhu has taught us to chant the maha mantra with utter humility trinada pisu ni chaina torariva sahishnuna amani na manadeena kirtaniya sada chaitanya mahaprabhu said that one should 
feel oneself lower than a straw in the street, be more tolerant than a tree, be ready to offer all respects to others, and not desire respect for oneself, in this way one can chant the holy names of Krishna constantly. This is only possible if one associates with pure devotees. Pure devotee is one who has no desire other than to serve Krishna. Before we were mentioning the names of the great Acharya, Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur, Srila Gaurakishwadas Babaji Maharaj, Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur, Srila Abhaychara Arnavanda, Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada and others. So, undoubtedly, the association of such exalted Acharyas is very rare in this world. But uh, if we follow those who are following such great Acharyas, then we get the same result. One has to be sincere to serve Krishna. Then Krishna will direct one to that association by which one's service propensity will increase. Yes, uh, unfortunately, in the modern age, in the name of religion, there are so many wrong ideas being circulated. And therefore, most people think that religion is some means of improving one's material situation. But they don't consider that the material situation is by its very nature anityam asukam, temporary and miserable. So, genuine spiritual teaching means to teach us that we do not belong in this material world. We belong to Krishna. And Krishna resides eternally in the spiritual world, in Vrindavan. We are meant to live there, not in Gorai Pali. <laughs> so many people in Gorai Pali may think, well, I'm not meant to live here, I should go and live in Hyderabad. <laughs> or better than that is Bombay. <laughs> better than that is Dubai. <laughs> better than that is New York. <laughs> <laughs> 
Wherever, even if we go to Indra Lok, that's also miserable. We should aim to go to the spiritual world. That is, that is possible to attain by chanting the Maha Mantra under the guidance of pure devotees. And actually to develop that Bhakti Bhav, it's better to be in Gorai Pali than Hyderabad. It's better, it's an Anukul Stiti. Yeah. Because there are not so many uh, disturbances here or uh, attractions for sense gratification. People want to go to the city because they think I can earn money and there's the Arak shop, so many wine shops and cinema and all things we can enjoy. We'll get more money. But the purpose of life is not to earn more money and become an asura. If we can live simply and chant the names of Krishna, we can completely perfect our valuable human life. We may think life is a struggle here, but it's chala kashtam everywhere, sabhatra chala kashtam. <laughs> we shouldn't think that in the city there's any less kashtam. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a different kind of custom, that's all. <laughs> Maybe they think it's a more advanced kind of custom. <laughs> the material world means custom, custom, a whole custom. So, why not take this opportunity? Live simply, chant Hare Krishna, become absorbed in Krishna consciousness and go to Krishna. And uh, also something very important, I think most people are literate, is it? They can read, most people, at least the younger generation. So you get Srila Prabhupada's books and st you can read all Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam. And in Srimad Bhagavatam, there are descriptions of all the different avatars of Vishnu. Nowadays, people don't, many people, they don't know who is, they never heard of all the different avatars. This is uh, shameful. We should fill our lives with thoughts of Krishna. So we can read about the leelas of Krishna in his various avatars with all the pure devotional explanations in Srimad Bhagavatam uh, with Srila Prabhupada's commentary.
మన మనసు మొత్తము కృష్ణుని విష్ణు మూర్తి యొక్క అవతారాలతో మొత్తము మనసు నిండిపోయి ఉండాలి At the same time, we should be very careful uh, to avoid the uh, explanations by persons who are not pure devotees. People do, who do not have an attitude of utter surrender to Krishna, who think that in Mukti, we become on the same level as Bhagavan, we should avoid scrupulously their writings. And we should avoid all the bad habits of modern life. ఆధునిక ప్రపంచం యొక్క చెడ్డ అలవాట్లు అన్ని వచ్చి పెట్టుకొని జస్ట్ లైక్ ఇన్ ఆల్ ద విలేజెస్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా అండ్ ద టౌన్స్ అండ్ ఎవరీ డ్రంకన్నెస్ ఇస్ వెరీ కామన్ ఉత్తము అన్ని నగరాలలో గ్రామాలలో ఆగుడు అనేది బట్ దిస్ ఇస్ డిగ్రేడింగ్ టు ది హ్యూమన్ ఇంటెలెక్ట్ it makes a human into an animal so instead of taking intoxication we should take the holy name of krishna and remember krishna and all these forms of intoxication tobacco and gutka this this is actually it's uh, it's not required it's a waste of money it's bad for health and it uh, blocks our spiritual advance and even uh, tea and coffee these are modern introductions it's just in the last 100 150 years or so these things have come these are also unnecessary and they they're not it's not as bad as drinking uh this arak but it's also a, a blockage to an obstacle to spiritual advancement జనాలు అంటే ఆశ్చర్యపడతారు Krishna 
So you have a very good start in life. So, please do not develop material ambitions. But develop the spiritual ambition to become a humble servant of Krishna and the Vaishnavas. and to go to the spiritual world. Don't be ambitious to go to the city. Go, be ambitious to go to a much better place, the spiritual world. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare. It's very pleasing to see so many people engaged in Sankirtan. Sala, Ananda Karamana Vishnu, Sala Mandi Karamana, Kirtan Yeda, Palavandi. Seeing the children, Vaishnav Tilak. Hare Krishna. Any question, please? Even a question. So our our um, 
Our commitment is to the truth. So, if we say that we want everyone to be all one, but if everyone doesn't agree to follow the truth, then uh, we can all be one, but it'll all be one big pile of rubbish. So if we don't recognize the truth of Srila Prabhupada's great contribution, then uh, we're rubbish. So, sorry to say. There's something, there's something wrong there, there's something basically wrong. So, all right, it's nice they're chanting Hare Krishna. That's, that's, that's always to be encouraged, but what's their problem? Another thing is, following the lead of Srila Prabhupada and all the great Acharyas, we want to give people the real thing, this, the past of Satya. That's why we tell you that, you know, you have to give up all these bad habits. But I question the, uh, the motives of people who initiate others who are not following this principle. The guru should bring the disciple up to a better level, otherwise what's the meaning of, of being a disciple? So it may look all the same. But if you look a little deeper, you'll find there are some significant differences. Just announce that, so you can say, tell a ghost. You say. Hare Krishna, Shri Ashila Prabhupada, 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 Shri Ashila then you're really depriving them of, of a great spiritual wealth. Ram is uh, his Ram Dham is Ayodhya and Krishna Dham is Vrindavan. But actually, they are the same person. But they are performing different leelas. 
and therefore they have a different power. Krishna is Akila Rasamrita Murti. Well, that's easy to translate from Sanskrit to Telugu and then to English. Now, wait a minute, I'm, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, we didn't finish. I didn't, didn't finish answering this. Uh, so, uh, in Krishna, we find all the, all the bhavs in full expression. And in Ram, we find the, uh, he is Mayada Purushottam. So, some devotees, they are more attracted to worship Rama and some are more attracted to worship the same person in the form of Krishna. Some are more attracted to worship him as Narasimha. There are various forms of the Lord. But those forms are mentioned in scripture and are known since ancient times. These so-called incarnations, just like I was mentioning one person from Raya Al-Sima, they're not, uh, they're not bona fide avatars. So what's his question? So Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Yeah. But uh, that's, it's generally understood like that, but uh, there are also ancient paramparas which uh, chant Hare Krishna first. And particularly Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, popularized that. But actually it comes to the same thing because if you go on chanting, it, it all becomes the same thing anyway. No, but it's only the other way around because you're used to it having Hari Rama first. For me, when I hear Hari Rama first, I think it's the other way. So it's just a matter of what you're used to, but both are bona fide. But because we are followers of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we challenge. Hare Krishna. It looks like most people have to go now. So shall we finish here? What follows is the conversation that Maharaj had after this lecture. Yeah. Quite a lot of books went out today. It's surprising. Yeah, so what are we doing? What's the conclusion? Where is it? Oh, what do you do? 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 What do I say.
शाम 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 गुड हरे नाम हरे नाम Can't read then chant Hare Krishna and serve Krishna. Well, there is a call. There's a great qualification. That's Janada Pisuli Jana. So it's not so easy. It's easy to say. We can sit here and say, Janad, you should be humble. <laughs> But it's not so easy to be humble. दीने रे अधिक दया करे भगवान कुलीन पंडित धनी बर अभिमान चैतन्य महाप्रभु यू कैन इज यू कैन फॉलो चलो गो पीपल कैन फॉलो आल्सो इज इट दीने रे हाउ डू यू से चलो दीनलु 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 दीने रे अधिक दया करे भगवान दीनल मीद एको दया कल भगवान देवड़ दी Kulin Pandit Dhani Bara Abhima means Kulin Pandit Dhani Chala Abhima. Ante Uttam Jati Oru Pandit Tulu Dhanu Anturu Ekko Garo Karta Oru. Varmad Bhagwan Ke Kudai Oru. Kudai Oru. So So Dinil Me Ekko Dai Oru Kudan Chakku. So Mano Ha Mood Kaakunna Guda Mano Mida Devi Ekko Krupa Ekko Ondu Dhan Mara Oru Chakku. हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण Day you can stop, but then next day people are asking that the Hare Krishna people will not come to their meetings. <laughs> It happens all the time in America because we used to do lots of high nam in the 60s and 70s. And then uh, after people, what happened? They asked what happened. So we should go on. Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Eva Eva Nam. हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण आई जस्ट आस्किंग